So my question for you is your, your stepmom, Amy, has a Christian audience, large Christian audience. You've yeah. been singing backup for her for 10 years. Yeah. You're very, you've become familiar with that world, which was not, first talk, that's not really familiar to you growing up, is it? I had a, I had a unique experience with religion when I was younger. I wouldn't say it was good or bad, but I'm not still, <laughs> yeah. you know, going to that church. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so because Did of it, that experience, yeah. I have found myself um, feeling a little separated from, you know, religious. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know how to, a religious lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I don't attend church every Sunday. Um, I don't read the Bible. I'm not familiar with a lot of scriptures. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes get uncomfortable when people bring up their faith in conversations. When I feel like it starts to get to that preachy zone. Yeah. And that's a, and that's a reason why I loved working with Amy because I never felt like she preached to her crowd in a religious way. Yeah. It was always in a spiritual and love, you are loved way. And I think she's a prime example of a Christian who is welcoming to all people mm -hmm. and their backgrounds mm -hmm. and however they identify and how they live their lives. I know a lot of her followers are churchgoers and have more conservative in their beliefs, and a little more conservative in their yeah. beliefs. And so a lot of my Instagram followers, I think come from dad and Amy fans and I love them all. Yeah. It's, it's a really great community. So what is your thought process around that with regard to this being released? I'm expecting some of my followers to be uncomfortable. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah.